Always love catching up with Frank Soule of the Parks and Recreation Department. Um, last time I spoke with you was just before, I think, Wing Fest. You had it. It was terrific. I loved it. Everybody around here loved it. The whole town loved it. Well, yes. You set a record, right? I think the whole town was there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we actually had uh, record numbers across the board. Um, as I said to you when mm -hmm. we were just talking uh, a little before the show, I, I came in my rain gear. I was ready for a rainy morning, and hopefully the afternoon was going to work out. And then uh, by the time I got there, actually when I got by, beyond Cordillo, the mm -hmm. skies opened up, and it was a beautiful day. Um, so we had lots of people from all over. This is such a great, it was such a great uh, yeah. community event. Not only do we have great restaurants out there serving their finest wings, but we also have people coming from all over we've we over the years we've really committed through the help of ATAX right. to not only bring people to our community in March which is kind of a slow time of year right. once we get back to normal but also having a, a great mix of locals because if you go to our uh, Facebook mm -hmm. page I mean I'm surprised all the locals that just look forward to it so it was an awesome day um, and we have uh, we committed to a couple of years ago to go with a show band called Naked Karate Girls right. Right. I was surprised and they're from Ohio so everybody fit lives here from Ohio comes out go. and sees them. So it was a great day. So we were really yeah. excited. So Good. we're already in the May and you guys are already deep into summer, I'm sure, with sure. your planning. Uh, you got a new climbing wall. Yeah, we Tell have a climbing it. wall. I mean, it's awesome. Uh, the D David M. Carmine's Foundation, mm -hmm. along with the town of Hilton Head. It's been, a, and I was just doing some math because we're going to have a ribbon cutting on the 17th, which is a Friday okay. at nine o'clock at the rec. And we invite the public. But uh, between the David M. Carmines Foundation and their efforts to raise money for people for parks and the town of Hilton Head, we were able to finally get enough funds to do that. And that was one of the projects that was not in the original uh, okay. of the original opening of the rec center. So we're excited. We have staff trained. We have some hours. You go to the islandreccenter.org to find all about it. But it's part of the outdoor rec okay. program, yeah. which we've been growing over the last couple of years. And, and this summer, we're actually going to be working with the Beach House. And we're okay. going to have a lot of our programs there. We have surf lessons. We're going to have kayak. Uh, surf kayaking we're also going to have um sailing lessons down there wow. so we're, we're really expanding that program and we're going to be able to do some more rentals and stuff that we haven't done be we have done it before yeah. but this will give us a really great location and we really thank jay wendell and the folks out at the beach house right. you know kind of creating a partnership for us and i and nate skager who runs that, our program for us is going to do an excellent job we're still going to do the outdoor summer camp program too mm -hmm. but th these are the type of things that one of the one of the many things that we're going to offer this summer but something that's really kind of on the horizon we're really excited about all right those of us who get acrophobia how high is the wall it's only 21 feet that's, that's so right. you're all right plenty high enough <laughs> two-story building for crying out yeah uh pickleball is, is pickleball such a huge yeah deal. we're you um right you know we haven't too, really talked you? about it but uh yeah. you know the they've redone the old schoolhouse park we had right. the island rec center courts redone um, so we're kind of making sure the surface is really great. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we were fortunate enough to hire Sarah Mitten mm -hmm. as uh, our part-time pickleball coordinator in December. And we look forward to, we see the growth coming. Uh, the town of Hilton Head is making some pretty big commitments and adding additional courts to the community, which I think we'll hear about soon, more about soon. When we get folks coming down to the island who want to play pickleball, what's the easiest way for them to find out how to get a court and get involved. Go to islandreccenter.org okay. and go to our pickleball page right. and there's a bunch of click throughs. But next thing you know, you can sign up and play. Um, you can come out and play at the rec center for $5. Yeah. You can come out and play at, uh, if you're here yeah. visiting, or Old Schoolhouse Park, you can come out and play there. But, the, you know, as we all know, how many years we've been talking about pickleball is just growing oh. in leaps and bounds. It's huge. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Hey, appreciate the time. Uh, will we leave anything out? Oh, well, we have lots of summer cleaning programs. Well, Islandreccenter.org. Well, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> go there and find yeah. out more. Thanks so much, Frank. I appreciate the time. You're welcome. All right, Frank Soule of the Island Rec Center. We'll be back with more right after this.